Good morning guys, welcome to Thursday. Today's Thursday and Dad's last day, Sam's last day at work for the week. And this is Sophie. She's got her hair mastered now. Be looking good. We just gotta get the chocolate off your face. She's eating. She's eating chocolate oatmeal muffins that I made. You gotta be say good morning. Hi. We are headed down to work on the day by day horse farm. 68 degrees today. It is 68 degrees this morning. It feels hotter than yesterday though, so it's probably gonna be hotter today. The light was left on last night. What the heck? The light was left on. The light was, oh, did you turn on the Take light? This. Oh, just wait, I got water. I had to bring down some water. Today's riding day for the girls, and, and I've been wanting to ride so much lately, ever since I rode at the Pasofino farm. I want to see if I can do it. <laughs> I want to see if I can ride. Little ponies have their breakfast. Gabby's already headed down to feed the big horses. I'll let the babies out. They're waiting right at the door too. Like, hey, it's time! I know, you really want to play with her. She really wants to play with you too. Sort of. A little bit pushy. Everybody's got one of those friends that's a little bit super pushy. You still, you still love them. Anyway, um, there's, I woke up this morning knowing that I had to tell you guys two things, two super important things. And I have to tell you really quick now before I forget them. Horses are waiting. <laughs> He's purring. They're getting so big. Like look, they feel your whole hands now. Because they're eating all the food. They're eating. We have to get more kitten food now. Because they're eating all the food. Listen, he's vibrating so hard from all his from all his purring. He's just purring away. Such a cute kitty. Look how much friendlier he is now, Sophie. That's all from you. And this little girl <laughs> is being attacked. But it's mo so much better when kittens are raised around dogs so that they get used to it so they're not... <laughs> Molly! Molly! Back off! Molly's getting fat now. I took your advice and started putting a little tiny egg in her food. I don't like to do that. I've done it before. I don't like to do it because eggs, raw eggs, can like carry diseases and stuff. So I don't like to do it. But I started doing it and literally she eats a whole bowl of food now at each meal. Like before she used to have like three bites. Hey. Hey Minnie. Hey little Minnie. Hello. Anyway, okay, so I have two things to tell you. I have to tell you the first one really quick because I never know how to articulate what I so feel. I was kissing Ollie on the nose and then he started kissing me back. <laughs> He's so cute. I let them in there yesterday in the arena while but I was waiting. the ponies are there. Yeah, the ponies are there right now. <laughs> He's like, what is that? Okay, so I'm going to feed the ponies and tell you. Okay, so the first thing is, is that you guys brought it up with the red ribbon in Storm's tail and the real reason he has to wear a red ribbon is because he kicks. Molly. And then I started thinking, actually I was talking to a friend and I was pointing out that not only does he kick but he does bite. Ruby. Uh oh. Ruby. See if Gabby needs help. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hurry up. Quick run. What? Okay. What? Gabby's one of those people that has to really wake up before she's awake in the morning. Oh, she's grouchy. Anyways, so, then you're thinking like Storm bites too. He doesn't just kick. But that doesn't make him a ferocious horse because, because he, he actually barely ever bites. He bites the chiropractor but only when she's hurting him. And and he bit Gabby at the show the other day. There you go, Gracie. Oh gosh, I'm covered in hay. Oh, you got that one? All right, there you go, Willow. So then it started me thinking like, he doesn't ever, like he would never hurt us, first of all. When he bites, he it's more like a warning, like he kind of nips us and it's like, you better listen to me. He only has ever bitten when he feels not heard, when he doesn't feel heard. And then it made me think about how back in the day when I didn't like horses, like I actually didn't like them. And the reason I didn't like them is because it hurt me to see them. It hurt me to see them. They all seemed beaten down, powerless. Like, you, you know how sometimes you have to look at a horse's body language to see how they're feeling. And other times you use your, your empathy and, and you can feel how a horse is feeling. So I would like see all these horses and I would feel this horrible feeling for them. Like, 
I, I just would feel so bad for them all the time. And it wasn't until I met a certain horse, Ziggy, who had this spirit in him that I could see that it made me think like horses might be different than what I always thought. But anyway, so Storm, so back to the story. Storm only tries to bite if he's feeling unheard. Like he gives us so many warnings. Like when the chiropractor is doing his, his neck, which is like his tricky part on his body. That's the part that always goes out on him. When she's doing his neck and he's like, you're hurting me, you're hurting me, you're hurting me. And then he'll start to nip. And at the show, he said to Gabby a million times, I'm going with my friend. I need to go with my friend. I'm going with my friend. And when she didn't listen to him and she was dragging him all around, then that is when he tried to bite her and said like, this is enough. And that's the thing about our horses and about my kids. I never ever want to control every single thing that they do. I want them to be, I want them to feel that heard. I want them to feel like they have a say. I want them to know that we believe in them. And I think that that's what I've been trying to say all along about horses and how we train them and livestock and, and animals in general, how we train horses by overpowering them and saying, you need to listen to me no matter what. I want our horses to know that they have a say and I want them to know that we'll listen to them. And that's the big thing is that people think if you don't overpower them, they're never gonna be kind and they're never gonna, that it's gonna be unsafe and that they're never gonna listen to you. But I've found the opposite to be true. I found, I have found that if your horses and your children know that they have a say and they know that they're in a fair environment, then they act appropriately, but better. Do you know what I mean? Like I still don't know how to say it exactly the way I want to say it. And I know there are still going to be people who will be like, your horses are going to kill you. But I think it's really important to listen and let them have a say. <laughs> what do you think, Sophie? Do you think you should have a say in your life or do you think I should make all the rules? A say? Do I make all the rules? Yes, no. <laughs> I pretty much do. I all know that feeling like, you know, have you ever smacked your dog or smacked your horse and then they feel scared of you and they never want to come near you? Like they don't trust you? Yeah. What I'm saying is the opposite of that feeling. It's the opposite of your animal's not thinking that they can come near you and not thinking you're trustworthy. They do not land on their feet. Cats don't land on their feet? No. In case you missed the point, I just want to say my point was that I want to listen to my horses and to my kids before it gets to the point that they feel like they need to act out so that I listen to them. Does that make sense? I'm gonna give them a So apparently they need water. This little puppy, this little kitten jumped in the water bucket. I was just, just curious to see what's in there. Mm -hmm. The barn is already finished. It is 8.30 a.m. 8.30 a.m. 8.30 a.m. and we're done chores. We're done all the chores. We've fed everybody. We've taken care of everybody. We've swept everything. I cut the grass. But now I'm gonna go up there and eat. Make sure the girls eat because there are no lessons on this day by day farm unless everybody's eaten. One of the fastest ways to get your animals to love you, I swear, is through food. You better not be laying an egg there, Missy. She's one of the new ones laying. All right, here you go. They come running now when they see me because they think I'm gonna give them treats. And I don't think she's molting. I don't know what happened to her shoulder. She's a spicy hen though. One egg for breakfast and it's still hot. I love fresh food. Sophie's having leftover mac and cheese from our restaurant meal yesterday. I love mac and cheese with bacon in it. It's the I'm best. I'm gonna do sit-ups and push-ups to get this out. She's gonna do some sit-ups and some push-ups today. Every day. Yeah, Gabby exercises every day. I feel her. I know, they're eating me at a house Look. and home. He's skinnier now. He is fat, feel him. Yeah, they are hefty. Look how big he is, though. And mine's just small. Look. She's tiny. She's huge. He's my big boy. He's also the biggest one in the litter. She's so she, calm. She might though. have been the run. Though. I actually really like him now. He, they both have better personalities. I like, like her better. He wasn't they were very just friendly. Scared. Yeah, they weren't used to it here, and now he's they're still like. He's not as friendly, 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 but he's. When you do nice things for animals, they learn to love you. Like we let them out every day now, so they get excited. Do they have lots of water? Do they have lots of water? No. <laughs> 
you. That's how you go fast. Your version of jumping. Time to get our ride on. I want to jump today. And the girls are all, I'm going to tell Fiona I want to like do a little jump today. I know y'all are like, no! But I'm, I've done it. Like I've been jumping on those Pasofinos and I like it. And the girls are all like, you cannot jump. You don't know what you're doing. They're all jealous. We have cut. It's official. Storm is herd bound. Fine for doing anything by himself except for when you, like when you're walking, he's fine. But then once you put him in the barn in the cross ties or in the stall, he's like, oh, wait, where is everybody? But when he gets ridden, he's fine. He mm -hmm. he Mom, Dad has to all right, so I'm going to, so this is how we have to do it. Mom, Gabby's gonna ride first, and then Sophie's gonna ride, and so while Sophie's riding, Gabby's gonna run and tack up Storm, and then, cause I have to film, and then um, I'm gonna ride Storm last. Gabby's going someplace in two weeks where she needs to take Chino and he needs to be jumping fit. I need so. Brandon to go. Yeah. Cause he cuts it straight. Ish. Straight. No, I like, I don't mind his mane. Like I would leave it, I don't, wouldn't wanna cut it before you go where you're gonna go. Like where she's to gonna go. Now, so it has time to grow up. Where she's gonna go is like kind of a fancy barn. Well, it's kind of a fancy thing, I think. Like you have to be a certain caliber of rider and have a certain caliber of horse. So Fanny got a new cut. Okay. It's just hair missing, but it's bleeding a little bit. He should be fine. Just so you guys know, the kittens are being well taken care of. They've got bodyguards. Making sure that they don't get free. Special request from a fan. Aw, she Where wanted you to wear the black current. Why aren't you wearing a black current shirt? Um, because those two laces change. Oh. It's too hot, you should have said. Oh, yeah, that's a good excuse. Okay. So, some of you guys are asking to see Stormy's, um, get over there. Don't push me between the wall there. Move over. Some of you guys want to see his flip-flops. So, I'm going to show you right now. And this is it. It's just like a big, fat, thick pad, see it? And it's loose at the bottom. It's loose right here, see? And when he goes around, it makes like a sound like you know how flip-flops go around. Um, I've seen them in different ways. This one's got little cutouts up here, but I've seen them all completely cut out in the front, in the middle here, and they say that's good. But these are his flip-flops. These are what are fixing him. I can, you can see his heels are still a little underrun though. So our farrier did tell us that the reason that his heels are underrun are not from like things that we're doing wrong, not from bad, um, bad trims or anything like that. It's because of his confirmation. Yeah, he just is born like that. Which one? So how do you tell Finn wears saddle pads in spring? Mhm, mm that's a spring saddle pad, you guys. <laughs> Gabby's hip is bruised. If you guys didn't see yesterday's oh, video. If you didn't see yesterday's video, Gabby had a fall that in, that in, resulted in Sam almost dying. No, because she touched her hip. That's how she bruised She it. smashed her hip into the ground. But she also touched her hip today. And she... Molly, Molly's like, let me put my claw, my paws under there. Fiona's not here yet, but Gabby's already up. Puppy's already waiting. She's like, it's lesson time. Such a good puppy. I got the chair set up like this. If you actually put the umbrella in front of the sun, and it's time for riding lessons, and I'm excited. I love, I love riding lesson days. Like, who knew this was gonna be my life? Like, who knew that I'd be 50, raising children still, and have a new passion. Like that's just insane to me. I also want to say that I like searched and searched for all the horses, like Pasofino horses, which I'm not sure about. And also the gypsy horse that I really want. And out of all the ones that I've seen, I still really keep coming back to that mare. But I don't know. I, I'm just waiting for God to make it play out. I'm just waiting you guys. But I do have to tell you that I am taking my friend Allie T. I showed you, I told you guys who she is yesterday. I'm taking her advice and I'm taking some lessons at the Pasofino farm. So I'm gonna go there after next week because she has camp and I'm gonna actually take lessons. I'm gonna have a few lessons on those horses and see what happens. Snacks for today are water oh, and races. I didn't get to ride today because we were down a horse and I could have ridden Storm after Gabby rode him. But you guys saw he rode, or you will see he rode really hard, really hard, really fast. By the end of that lesson, it was a bit longer than normal. He was beat, so I obviously wasn't gonna ride him. 
God always has a plan. I always remind myself, like, whenever something goes wrong, I always think about how everything happens exactly the way that it's meant to, to take you where you're meant to go in life. So I was not meant to ride today. Even though I have my breeches on, I was ready to rumble, and I didn't get to. But that's okay, because, like I said, in another week, I'm going to the Paso Farm, and I'm going to be taking lessons on a horse that I trust more than anything of life. I'm going to be meeting, like, with a new instructor. I haven't had a new instructor in a really long time. Like, so many things outside of my comfort zone. But I'm excited, so. How did you feel about your lesson? I loved it. I loved it. Are I you going to round again, or are you guys good? No, we're good. So the thing about Chino, he uh, was examined by the vet. He didn't present with pain anywhere on his body when the vet examined him. Like, so he said, like, 100% it's exactly what the farrier said that he has the bruising on the sole on the left foot is the worst of the bruising because it's the flattest foot So I could call the vet back again. Sometimes I call the vet though, and he comes here and literally There's not like I don't know. I feel like he already told me what he thinks he already examined him I don't know. We're gonna see what will happen. I'll let him rest for a little bit and see if he gets better by next week And if he doesn't then I'll call the vet Cause yeah the way my tired. life goes. Sophia is tired. Sore. So interesting story. You know how we have never been able to get Chino's papers? Because mm -hmm. his old owner had to had to send in all the stuff and get all the papers and yeah. well they're there now. So she has them. So I'm gonna call her and we're gonna go pick them up. Okay. We're gonna finally see when his birthday is, how tall he is, for real, even though we measured him. How old he is? Yeah, they said he's 16'3", but we'll... He's taller than Rhett, and Rhett's 16'2". He's like an inch taller. Yeah, so we're gonna see all of it, though. If you don't wanna hear me being a baby, click ahead, click ahead in the video. I feel sad, though, like... I just... I feel sad that Chino's lame, because I hate not knowing how to fix him and what to do, and I just hate all that. I just hate the stress of it. I feel bad for Gabby. Like, she has something she wants to do in a couple of weeks and he might not be ready, but at least she has Storm, so that's good. But I feel sad that I'm ready for a horse. I was so excited to ride today and then now I can't. And that is okay. Sometimes I think it's important to feel sorry for yourself and allow yourself to be sad sometimes, even if you have such an amazing life and you have so much to be thankful for. Sometimes you just have to acknowledge it, live it, and then let it go. And yeah, that's how I feel like, but there's a crazy thing. So many of you guys are sending me messages saying like, Laura, I found a horse for you. Most of them I've already seen because I've been looking. I've been looking. But today I found one that's in Ontario. Somebody sent me, a girl sent me, an ad for a gypsy that looks amazing. He's the perfect height, he's in Ontario, he's everything that I would need. So I sent the ad to Fiona and we're gonna see what happens. He's even like the best price ever. I really like him, he's adorable. So maybe, maybe I found a horse you guys, maybe. Holy crap, I literally just came inside, not expecting anything. Hey Sophie, who are you chatting with? Lucas. Lucas. This is a boy. Hey Lucas. How old are you? What? How old are you? Eleven. Eleven. Your hair is just as blonde as Sophie's is. Where do you live? Yeah, I see it's darkening up. Where do you live? Yeah. Canada. In Canada? Where in Canada? In Montreal. In Montreal. That's not too far from us. You ride horses, Lucas? Yeah, I have a show Saturday in Ontario. Wow. What do you show? Yeah. What do you show? Uh, jumpers. Jumpers. Do you have your own horse? Yeah. I have a baby fool that's um, uh, quarter horse. She's basically Finn, but a girl. Right, a fool. I have my jumping pony. And I, my mom has a horse. She's an appendix. Well, my mom only does uh, trail riding. Amazing. And we have an old pony. Wow, that's awesome. Are they all at home with you or do you board them? 
they live at my house because we we have like a cow farm. Nice. Well, it's nice to meet you, Lucas. Okay. Bye. Bye. They're making slime together. Don't you know that you're beautiful?